Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Thursday of the 17th week in the ordinary time, year two. The wise learn from not just the classroom, but from daily occurrences as well. In fact, there are more lessons to learn on the field, and that actually shapes what the school curriculum should be. No matter how sound the theory may be, unless it translates successfully to real life experiences, it can only remain in the books. Today's first reading is taken from the prophet Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 to 6, and invites us, like the prophet Jeremiah, to learn from some practical tips in the porter's workshop. Arise and go down to the porter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. The porter sources the clay and prepares it, then moves to the wheel to mold it into a vessel. Jeremiah noticed that the vessel he was making was spoiled, and instead of discarding the clay, the porter reworked it until he has made the clay into what he has in mind. To the porter and anyone watching him, that seems to be the reasonable option. The other option will be to abandon the project. But through this experience, God spoke to Jeremiah. And he says, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as the porter has done? Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. There are two lessons here to take away. The first is to open our eyes and minds to what is happening around us. God speaks to us in the people and the things we see. Even when it seems we have failed in one endeavor, God may be using that to teach us a lesson. Rather than just gloss over it, we need to reflect more on the happenings in our lives and take time to question, what is God saying to me here? The other lesson in this experience of the porter's house is that God does not fail to remold. He created us out of the earth and gave us freedom. We are on the wheel of life where we are shaped and reshaped into the image and likeness of the perfection in God. Even when we do not turn out well, God does not give up on us. His spirit in us helps us to freely give ourselves into the hands of the Creator that He may remold us. We must not give up too on our life's journey, even when we experience failures. Parents must not give up on their children because they are not yet what they want them to be. Like the porter, they must continue to mold them on the wheel, particularly of prayer, till they get the desired result. The Gospel of today is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 47 to 53, and it affirms that in the parable of the dragnet, Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is like a net which was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. Fishermen only sought out their catch later and not while they cast the nets. We must not be in a hurry to give up on anything. A Christian cannot afford to quit because the journey is tough. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the wonder of my being. Mold me into the perfect image of you and help me to do your will at all times. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.